first, I was a traumatized child, involuntarily mute, terrified of people. Then I went through puberty, and my dad, he, he, he was there, but he didn't raise me. And I was very confused. I was afraid of girls, but I wanted to be with one. So I started to dress like them. I started to wear girl clothes. When I was 18, I was moving in with a, a, a chick who, who said, maybe you're transgender, that's it. And then all the shame and guilt that I had, I had terrible shame and guilt from 12 to 18 because I was doing this terrible, terrible thing of cross-dressing. Whenever she told me I'm transgender and I found out about that, oh, excuse me, there was a, there was a kitten. Oh, yes, baby, put him on the... Well, then all the shame and guilt disappeared. It was gone. And I was like, oh, wow, I don't have, I don't have to face that anymore. This is who I am. Well, I lived publicly as a girl for five years. And uh, then I was on hormone replacement therapy. <laughs> My dad brought me to, uh, what do you call it? Therapy. This uh, big Jew, got long dreadlocks, big old ear holes like that. He took my money and then he gave me um, hormone, a hormone in, uh, we'll just say HRT prescription. Doctor said, do you mind being fat? You're gonna be fat. And I said, sure, but I'll be a girl. So I was on hormone replacement therapy for two months and I gained fat in a few places. But when I started gaining it in my stomach, then I panicked and I stopped taking it and I thought back and I was like, why Julian, why are you doing this? And then I just traced my life and I realized, oh, I'm traumatized. And this is from trauma. And so I, uh, I, then I got angry and I was like, well, who did this to me and why did they do it? And so then I went down a, a rabbit hole, I discovered the Frankfurt School, and then I saw that everybody who had orchestrated this whole trans thing is the same people who's done everything else in this this whole liberal progressive thing that I was a part of, and they called themselves Jews. So that was like, well, what's up with the Jew? Yeah. Okay, so if the trans thing, this is also when Trump was uh, running against Hillary and they were lying about him. Uh, anyway, so all of a sudden, I was a Nazi, right? It was like, ah, these Jews, ah, look what the Jews have done to me. And I wasn't, I wasn't making things up. These so-called Jews, they're the ones who, who were behind peddling this so hard. Peddling it so hard, I became very angry. Uh, and I was a Nazi for a long time. And I was a leader. I was a leader among them. And, uh, uh, I found out that that's a bunch of, everything's a honeypot. The feds are everywhere in everything. But I realized that white nationalism is a lie. Uh, whenever I read the New Testament, turns out we're all one body. We're all the body of God, okay? And uh, all we have to do is deny ourselves. Deny yourself the pleasure of, of lust. Deny yourself the pleasure of pride. Right, the whole the whole tranny thing that was lust, the whole Nazi thing that was pride and anger, right? Um, Christ is the truth. What is the truth? The truth is forgive and have patience, not with, only with others but with yourself, and your mind will be renewed and you'll have understanding, the understanding to discern truth from lies, and then you won't be confused anymore. You won't have to interpret this and that, and, and and you won't have to really do much else. It's all going to be very plain. People are lying to you on the left and the right. The truth is right in the middle, brothers and sisters. We are one body. Let's love each other.